What is life? What is death? Isn't it crazy that you still don't know what life is? You've been here for a while, but you still have no idea what life is. People die every day, but you still don't know what death is. You still don't know if the people who have died continue to exist after dying. Isn't it strange to you that you really don't know what life is, you really don't know what death is? Do you think that someone should have told you what life is? Do you think that someone should tell you what death is? There must be someone who comes to you and actually explains to you that, hey, um, yeah, this is what life is. This is what the whole thing is about. This is what it all means. Ask yourself why no one ever like really told you what this is. I mean, yeah, people have claimed to know what this is, but you know they're full of shit, right? No one really came to you and actually told you what this really is. No one came to you and told you what really happens after death. So you don't know. You don't know what happens after death. You don't know what reality really is. You don't know why you exist. You don't know why at some point you'll stop existing. Or if you'll ever stop existing. You don't know if death is not an illusion. One thing that a lot of people do not realize is that they actually do have the absolute authority. This is what people do not realize. You've given your power away. This is a big mistake. You've given your power away. You want another person to tell you what reality is. Instead of figuring it out yourself. Figuring out what reality is yourself. Like, why do you want another person to tell you what reality is? Why do you want another person to tell you what death is? Why do you want another person to tell you what experience is? What does reality mean to you? Because you are the one who has to decide. That's why you are the one who is actually experiencing reality from your perspective. You are the one that decides. The truth has always been obvious, but you've been shying away from it for some reason and you've given your power away you want other people to tell you what this is so do not take what i'm telling you as absolute truth only try to see if it makes sense right only try to see if it makes sense. You are the one who decides what the ultimate truth is. Let me ask you a question. Why do you believe that What you are experiencing is reality. Remember, you have the authority to accept something as real. Or to not accept it as real. You can accept this experience as real. 
but you also have the power to say it's not real. It's truly up to you. It's not up to another person. It's not up to Benedictines. It's not up to Jesus. It's not up to Buddha. It's 100% up to you. You have the absolute authority to decide what the truth is. Don't you understand that? So I'm asking you a question. Why do you believe that your experience is real? Why did you accept your experience as real? Why didn't you tell yourself that, well, maybe it's just a dream. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. Why did you conclude that this is real? Who told you that this is real? Who confirmed to you that this is real for you to actually be confident that, yeah, you know that this is real? What if none of this is real? What if you're dreaming right now? Ever considered the possibility that you might actually be dreaming? Think about it. The only other experience that you have had was a dream. The only other experience that you've had outside of this, you know, experience was a dream. And you believed without a doubt in your mind that it was not a dream until you woke up and you say it was just a dream isn't it convenient that it's only after you've woken up that you realize that you're dreaming you might say no i've had lucid dreams before but at what level do you know that you are actually dreaming you can never dream Or you are dreaming that you are lucid dreaming. That does happen. You can have any dream. Consciousness is not limited when it comes to dreaming. You can have any dream. You can have a dream where the laws of nature are completely different from the laws of nature in this experience that you are having, that you call reality. The fact that the only other experience outside of this experience that you've had was a dream should actually tell you something. You've never had any other experience where... You were not dreaming. Are you waiting for Jesus to come and tell you what reality is? Even though you can see it for yourself what it is. You're waiting for God to explain to you what this is. You're waiting for your spiritual teachers to explain to you what this is. If you can dream and not know that you're dreaming, what makes you 100% sure that you're not dreaming right now? You might say, oh, no, 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 uh, dreams, dreams are a bit different. You know, dreams are short and uh, they're not very, there isn't consistency, you know. If I was dreaming right now watching your video or find myself watching another person and not even know how I've, you know, you know, clicked on another video or just find myself watching another person, you know, I'm in my room right now. If this was a dream, I would find myself somewhere else without even knowing how I got there in the first place. If this, if this was a dream, 
um, things will keep on changing. What if the only reason why dreams don't seem to be persistent is because you're not in them for that long. When you're dreaming, you dream for a you know, couple of minutes sometimes. Sometimes maybe you might even dream for like 20 minutes, but usually your dreams are very short. So because you're not in them for that long, of course they're not really going to make sense. There isn't going to be uh, consistency because you, you are not dreaming for that long. But if you got stuck in your dream and you never woke up, of course there will be consistency. Because you would start to accept certain things as true. If you have a car and your car is green and sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's yellow, you'd actually reach a point where you decide what to believe right you believe that do you believe that your car is yellow do you believe that your car if you truly believe that it's blue then it's going to be blue forever because you've remember you have the authority right if you decide that this my car is blue then it will be blue forever but if, if your dream is short then you don't have time to actually decide what is true and what isn't true and because you've been here for too long you've been deciding what is true and what is not true what happens when this is all over you wake up the same way that you wake up from your dreams do you want another person to tell you that that when this is all over you just wake up and realize that it was all a dream because that's what reality, or what you call reality, can only be, it can only be a dream. It can never be anything else other than the dream. If you wanna believe that you live in a world that is actually physical, You'll never be able to explain reality. Think about it. If the world is physical, it will mean that time itself exists. It will mean that there was a point where there was nothing. And then something began to exist. But how? Where did anything come from if time exists? It will mean that there was, there was a time where there was nothing. Nothing, nothing, and then something came into existence, and it came into existence, and then, you know, more things came into existence, and you ended up with this. How? How is that possible? Think about it. Like, just, just think. Take your time to think about it. How is that possible? There was nothing, but then something came into existence. What caused it to exist? You have to understand that things don't just start existing and, 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 and be intelligent like that, like out of nowhere. I mean, we, we are, we're having an experience. Why, why is it that things don't just pop into existence? Right? Like, this is a very important question. If, if something can come out of nothing, then things should come out of nothing even now. God must just appear <laughs> in this reality, right? 
he must just appear and, and I mean I don't mean like the God who created this but I mean another God just appear and realize that he's God and he's able to perform you know a lot of things that you know we, we can't we, we know miracles and all that what if everything is happening within consciousness and consciousness is all there is and that explains everything That will explain why things seem to make sense. Things seem to be working together. Because even in a dream, the reason why you believe that you're dream when you're dreaming that you are not dreaming is because things actually make sense to you, right? In that dream, things actually make sense to you. If you are having a dream where the laws of nature are different, let's say you are having a dream where there is no gravity. That will make sense. It will make sense that there is no gravity. You are having a dream where you cannot walk fast. You would have an explanation to why you are not walking fast. There will be an explanation and you believe that that explanation makes sense. So consciousness is able to bullshit itself and believe in its own bullshit. That is why when you're dreaming you don't realize that you're dreaming. Because consciousness is bullshitting itself but, you be, but it believes that it's not bullshitting. It's like it can make shit up. It can dream up anything and believe that it's real. And when it tries to research about the nature of, 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 of reality, it will find answers that seem to make sense. But when, you keep on, when it keeps on asking more questions, it will never find a definitive answer. Because, well, there is no definitive answer. It's just dreaming, right? It's, that's why in this reality, there's no definitive answer. If you want to believe that the, you live in a physical world, you will never find a definitive answer. Be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all of this is a result of a big bang. But what caused the big bang? But you might tell yourself, oh, uh, actually there is a God. What created God? And what created whatever created God? Is it? Like you just... And, and here's, the, here's the crazy thing about consciousness. Consciousness, because it's good at bullshitting itself, what's going to happen is that if you tr try to, if you keep on asking yourself what created this or what started all of this, you might actually find an answer. But there's still going to be questions. And you never reach a point where you found a definitive answer. So yes, you might find out that, yeah, there's a God. But then who created that God? Hey, there's this energy that, hey, where did that energy come from? Hey, this is this and that, where does this and that come? You know what I mean? What if consciousness is all there is? And all it does is dream. All it does is bullshit itself. All it does is create stories, create movies for you to watch. And you believe that these movies are true. And that's it. Like this, this real, that's what reality is always that. I mean, consciousness is always that. It's, it, it's, it's, it's always fooled you, and you didn't realize that it was fooling you. You didn't realize that all of this is just a dream. What if time doesn't exist? What if everything is happening now? And everything will always be happening now. What if the past is created in the present? One day when we are trying to like figure out where anything comes from what if whatever we figured out didn't exist until we figured it out what if 
the evidence for the Big Bang didn't exist until someone decided to believe that all of this is a result of the Big Bang and then we started to see all the evidence of that being true. What if God doesn't exist but is only going to exist when we accept his existence as true? What if there is a snake under this stone? And there is no snake at the same time. And it all depends on me. There is a snake and there is no snake at the same time. Consciousness just decides that there's gonna be a snake however it does that and then when I op when when I uh, flip this the, the, the rock uh, and then there's a stone when I I mean there's a there, there's a snake because it decided that there's a snake but if you decide that there's no snake then there's not gonna be a snake so there is a snake and there's also not a snake what if there is no background story? How do you know that you are not dreaming? How did you decide that this is real? This is not a dream. Why did you make a distinction between your sleeping dreams and this experience that you are having now like ah that's just dreams uh i'm just hallucinating when i when i go to sleep and 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 i start to see things so uh, that's different from how i'm experiencing this reality but what if even in this reality you are actually dreaming what if reality can only be a dream it can never be anything other than a dream you might say, but I only dream when I sleep. That shows me that there, there's a difference between this experience and my dreams. But what if you are supposed to believe that there's a difference? You know, the same way that you, when you're dreaming, you have a brain and you believe that your consciousness is generated by the brain. Why do you have a brain in your dream? You can even have a dream where you wake up and you think you've woken up to this reality and then boom, you wake up again and you're like, what? I've had dreams where I've woken up like three times. You wake up and you're like, okay, okay, I've woken up, cool. And then something weird happens and then you wake up again you're like, what? And then something weird happens and then you wake up again you're like, what the Here's the thing, if you got stuck in one of the dreams that you'd be having where you, you know, that, that you would have like woken up to but that's still a dream, you'd actually find yourself living in that, uh, having that experience and believing that it's, it's all the, like it's the experience that you've always had. Like you just, be, you believe that it's all real. Like if you got stuck in your dream, you believe that it's real. I actually think that things keep on changing. Like there are things that happen, but that consciousness rejects. Or that consciousness tries to change. For example, um, if a car came out of nowhere and hit me, and that's not supposed to happen, consciousness screwed up. I would wake up and be like, ah, shit, I had a crazy dream. Uh, in this dream, I was recording a video. And, and then this car came out of nowhere and hit me. Find that it was not a dream. I mean, it was a dream, but 
it, it was not a sleeping dream. Like it, 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 it was happening, but then something that wasn't supposed to happen happened. So I'm supposed to wake up and be like, it was just a dream. I mean, has it done happen to you that you something weird happens? Like you, you don't feel like you are you are dreaming, right? And then something weird happened, and you're like, that's just that's just too weird. And you wake up, it 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 will feel like you you are just like restarting your day. Right, it will feel like you're just restarting your day. That's why some people believe in the Mandela effect. You know, some people remember Mandela dying. Between 1980 and 1990, I clearly remember Mandela dying. Like clearly, remember Mandela dying for real, and I'm surprised. How is he still alive? Like there's been so many people. I've, I've actually, I actually remember Rowan Atkinson dying. Like I thought, dude was dead, and I was surprised. Like I genuinely, like I thought, I remember this guy dying for real. Like, I thought Rowan Ethickson died. So, I remember I had a conversation with my cousins in the other day. I was like, man, like, that, that guy was a legend. Like, he was very talented. He knew how to... be funny. Like, there ain't that many humans that can do what he does. He did. And my cousin was like, how, why do you... Why do you talk about him as if he's dead? Like, he's dead. He said, no, Rowan Essex is not dead. Like, what are you talking about? He's not dead. He's like, no, 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 he's dead. And then we had to uh, Google, to search on Google, and he was still alive. But I clearly remember him dying. So, maybe... Reality has a reset button and things don't end up the same as they were. Some few things change. And consciousness fails to convince itself that or fails to fully accept the new reality after the reset. Right? So it's still stuck in the old reality. So after the reset, let's say um, someone has died consciousness fail after the reset consciousness doesn't forget that that person has died and then it's surprised that that person has not died or someone has not died and consciousness uh, knows that that person has not died but then in the new after the reset that person has died and you know Consciousness fail to accept that. <laughs> I remember there's this story that I've read about. This dude has been in a coma for for a long time. He he had a dream where he he was married. He had children. And yeah, he, he lived his life. After waking up. <laughs> he missed his children and his wife because he got he, he was stuck in that reality for a very long time that he it doesn't make any sense like he started missing <laughs> I thought that was funny like he started missing his, his, his children and wife after waking up to what we call the real reality so he missed his children and, and wife from his dream this reminds me of uh, uh, like the movie Inception, one of my favorite movies ever. But this lady ended up annihilating herself because she believed that this world was not real. She missed the dream world because they lived in, the, in, in, a, in, in a dream world for many years. So she started to miss the dream world. 
She started saying, ah, no, 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 this ain't the real world. This is boring. You know, I remember in our dreams, we used to do this and that. Or oh, not, not in, in our dreams, because she didn't she even think it was her dreams. She just think it's real. So you like, you remember, we used to do this and that. So this is not, this is not a, this is a dream. That is the real world. Reality is not what we think it is. Everything about reality tells us it's just a dream. We just don't want to accept that as true for some reason. You might ask me this question. Okay, okay, if it's just a dream, why do we suffer then? Why am I suffering in my own dream? Well, you believe it's real. That's the first problem. You believe that it's real. If you... In, in any dream that you've had where you believe it was really real and you took everything seriously, of course you, you suffered, right? Because you believe it was real. And that's the thing. But also, I think... Because consciousness can dream up anything on its own, like you, you, you have the power to actually dream up anything that you 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 want to. Um, experience. You can literally dream up anything that you want to experience. For this to be believable. Consciousness also had to create artificial intelligence and this artificial intelligence had to work in a way that will prevent consciousness from creating a desired reality and knowing how it's doing that. And what has happened is that this, this artificial intelligence became so damn uh, sophisticated that it was actually able to imprison consciousness. So that's why this doesn't make any sense. It's artificial intelligence. It's, it's not conscious, but then it's able to control how we experience reality. Because if it was not controlling how we're experiencing reality, we would know that it's just a dream. And that's why there is artificial intelligence in this dream. Like, think about it. Think about it. Like, if we lived in a physical world, how would that even be possible that we have artificial intelligence? How do you even explain artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is finding new ways to manifest itself. 30 years ago, there was no artificial intelligence. I mean, yeah, I mean, there might have been, but not, like, it's not, it was not that advanced. Let me say, 50 years ago, there was no artificial intelligence. But it found a way to manifest itself. And it operates as if it's conscious. It operates the same way that the things that are, that are happening in this reality that are beyond our control, you know, seem to happen. Like, if, if you look at how reality works, it, it does seem like there's a force that is actually making things happen a certain way. 
what goes up must, must come down uh, the sun must go up in the morning and go down at night it must rain sometimes when it gets if, if it's going to be very hot during the day that it must rain at night like usually that's how it happens if you go you, things uh start off bad for you something good is going to happen during the day like you just say you wake up in the morning and bad things just keep on happening and you stress you stress you stress something good ends up happening in the end you can even sense that something good is going to happen because the day was bad We don't really get what we want, right? Have you realized that we don't really get what we want? Like if you truly desire something, you're not gonna get it. It seems like you push it away by desiring it. And you you, you, you tell yourself that, okay, maybe if I truly want something, uh, I, I just won't figure out how to get it. But really, what if this AI is making sure that you don't get what you want when you really want it? as a way to keep you interested in that thing. If it keeps it away from you, you're going to be interested. And you're going to be giving it a lot of energy because you're interested. You, you know, you seeking what you seek might, might be powering the AI. Because you're desperate. You, you want something desperately. So the AI be like, okay, I'm keeping this away from this person because they want it. Until you stop wanting it. And because you would have done what needs to be done to get what you want, well, you get it. Because AI no longer has a use for it anyway. Like you don't want it anymore, so you get it because you've worked hard for it. Isn't that how it works in this world? Do you really get what you want? Think about it. You, 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 you get what... You wanted, not what you want. Like when you want something right now, like you really, really want something and you don't, you don't have it. I'm not just talking about something that you already know you have or that you, you, you are going to have. I'm talking about something that you don't know how to get. You just desire it and you don't know what to do to have it. Like you don't, you don't get to have it. You might say, hey, I just bought a car that I wanted. Yeah, you already knew that it was yours because you had the money to buy it. I'm talking about you being in a desperate situation where you want a car, but you you don't have money for real to buy it. Like you, you, If you really, really want it, you, you're not going to have it until you stop wanting it and then boom. Something happens and you have the money to buy the car. It's like trying to remember something. Have you ever been in, that, in a situation where you were trying to remember something, but you couldn't remember it? You try to remember and you wouldn't you couldn't remember it until you stop trying to remember it and then you remember it. Doesn't that happen to you? When I try to remember something and I don't remember it, I don't even bother myself. I'm like, I'm gonna remember what I'm trying to remember now. Uh, later on, I know. Let me just focus on other things and you just come back on its own without me doing anything. Or when I'm looking for something, you look for your cell phone, you don't find it, you're like what? Where, where is it? Like it's not like it's supposed to be somewhere here. I just tell myself that hey, I mean, let me just focus on other things. My phone will appear, and then it does. It does appear on its own, and you find that it was not even hidden in the first place, and you wonder how you were not able to find it. Reality is not what you think it is. The problem is that you you believe that all of this is real. And this is the same mistake that you've been making. Like you've been making the same mistake even when you were dreaming. You believe that you were not dreaming. And consciousness was able to fool itself that way. I am Jane. Forgive me. Consciousness was able to fool itself that way. Just like it's fooling itself right now. And what's going to happen is that you're going to wake up again and be surprised. Eh? Like after waking up from this dream, you wake up again and be surprised. And ask yourself, 
How did I not know that I was dreaming? You didn't know that you were dreaming because consciousness is actually fooling itself. So you, 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 you it's, 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 it's hard to realize the, the true nature of reality when you are in it, is it? So it's hard to realize that you're in a dream when you're still in a dream. It's, it's, it's hard to realize that you're in a simulation when you're still in a simulation. And what I think is about to happen, I think another simulation will be created and AI will be God in that simulation, just like AI is God in this simulation. And consciousness will not, like I wanted to use the word trap, but it won't really be trapped because you, you know, consciousness is dreaming up everything, so it can wake up if it really wants to wake up. But what happens is that, uh, what was gonna happen is that it's gonna believe that it's not in a simulation, like it's gonna be a bit different from this, this reality. So it's gonna believe that it's not in a simulation and it's gonna, like things are gonna be a bit different and um, yeah, you, it, it, AI will be creating characters that are going to like keep it, keep consciousness like believing that whatever is experiencing is real. That's why even in this, in this, in this dream, in this illusion, there are weird things that are happening, things that we can't really explain, and even things that just seem too weird to be to be true. see what's happening um, in, in, in politics, you're like, ah, that's, that just can't be real. It's consciousness attempting to keep us invested, you know, consciousness is trying to keep us invested, it's trying to, uh, yeah, it's, it needs our energy, basically, like, uh, I mean, AI, it's AI trying to keep us invested, it needs our energy, it needs us to be, to believe that what is happening is real and how do we believe that it's real we believe that it's real by giving it your energy like you giving it your energy is you believing that something is real you know the moment you take something seriously it's the moment that you actually believe that it's it's real So what happens when this is all over? You wake up. You're gonna wake up and realize that it was all a dream. What are you supposed to be doing if this is a dream? What you're supposed to be doing is practicing the art of detachment because you're suffering. You know, AI doesn't give a damn about you being happy or anything like that. It just wants you to believe that this is real. That is papers. It's supposed to make you believe that this is real and it does whatever it can to make you believe that all of this is real. So what you need to be doing is practicing the art of detachment. You need to be detaching yourself. You need to become a non-believer. You mustn't believe that this is real. You mustn't take anything too seriously. You mustn't carry the burden of reality. Right, you mustn't like carry the burden of reality. Like, hey, uh, what happened there is real. It's my fault. Uh, I should have done things this way. I should have remembered this. Uh, I, I, you know, I shouldn't have uh, not taken this seriously. Uh, um, I should have worked hard. I should. I should. I not have called this person. I shouldn't have been like now. Learn to live in the moment and watch this movie without really uh, giving it your energy in any way. You just watch this movie and. That's it. Like that's what you do. You just watch. You watch the movie. 
be so damn grounded that you are not really affected by what happens. So no matter what this reality, I mean, the, this the AI tries to show you, you don't you, you don't mind. You just watch and don't take anything seriously. Don't even think you must do anything. Just just watch. It needs to get to a point where no matter what you're being shown, you don't you don't stress. You don't get too excited and you do not stress. Because this AI is so powerful. It's, um, it controls our dreams. It controls this reality. So it also controls the reality after this reality. Yes, you're going to wake up, but you still there will still be artificial intelligence that's kind of like controlling things. That is why people will tell you that they've had a near-death experience and they've had to uh, deal with some entities that told them this that told them that is this ai it's powerful but you're more powerful than it because you created it and it fully relies on you without you it wouldn't exist so yeah what happens when this is all over you're gonna wake up and you're going to be like, oh, it was just a dream. That's weird. I, I, it's weird. And you're going to think that you've woken up to the real reality. But there is no real reality. That's the thing. Reality can only be a dream. There isn't anything that can, that can physically exist. That's why now they are kind of like able to create holograms that you can touch. How is that supposed to even be possible? Holograms that you can actually feel. Like we're getting there now. If, if, if they can create a hologram that you can touch, shouldn't that make you suspicious? Shouldn't that make you realize that this is also some kind of a hologram. Things are becoming more weirder and weirder. So, and, and that also, like, this is the AI exposing itself, actually. Like, things becoming weird is AI exposing itself. AI showing us what is actually possible. I mean, 10 years from now, you'll actually be able to tell AI to create a movie that you'd want to watch, right? You just come home from work and be like, I want to, I want to watch a movie where a dinosaurs uh, fights a gorilla and um, it wins and after winning it turns into a human and after turning into a human uh, it starts um, it starts looking for a partner and you know what I mean like you can it will get to a point where you tell AI to create any kind of movie I mean you're, you, you already know what is possible now. We can actually tell AI to change, like, uh, a v let's, let's just say I'm, I'm recording a video right now. I can tell AI to change this video and make me uh, do something crazy. I can tell AI to make me open the, uh, open, 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 like, uh, maybe, um, I don't know, open the ground and go inside. I can literally tell AI to, to, to do that. And it's crazy that it actually knows how to do that. And this is something that will actually take time for like people who use CGI to be able to do. Like it's, it wouldn't be something that will be like very easy to do. But AI is able to do that in, in a few seconds. So imagine what's going to be possible 10 years from now.
So AI is actually exposing itself. It's showing us that it actually is in control. So yeah, consciousness is fundamental. It's able to dream up anything, but it wanted to forget that it's able to do that. So it created artificial intelligence and merged with it. And it forgot that that's what it did. And that's why this is happening. But it is just a dream. Thank you all guys.